பெரியவா சரணம் தெய்வத்தின் குரல் வால்யூம் த்ரீ பார்ட் ஒன் ஆஸ்பீஷியஸ் பிகினிங் சாப்டர் ஒன் பிள்ளையார் சுழி டிவோட்டீஸ் ஆர் பிளெஸ்ட் அகெய்ன் டு கோ த்ரூ த பேஷனட் நரேஷன் ஆஃப் மகா பெரியவா ஆன் லார்ட் கணேஷா இன் திஸ் பார்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் வால்யூம் த்ரீ பெரியவா transforms into a linguist and speaks about pillayar suri and its genesis in his own enticing style in between his philological comparison between tamil and kannada language eminence of balamburi pillayar and connection between mayur gaon of maharashtra and tiruvallan suri of tamil nadu are all enthralling before commencing to write anything be it a normal grocery list or a postcard we first draw pillayar suri on the top of the paper before continuing to write whatever we need to pillayar suri represents auspiciousness and is drawn to invoke good luck likewise when we commence any task we pray to lord ganesha that all obstacles that may come during performance of a particular task are removed pillayar suri is a written proof to substantiate the lofty truth that nothing can happen without his grace we use pillayar suri predominantly at the commencement of every task so that nothing turns out adverse or against our wishes instead of pillayar suri some people write om in both grantham and tamil language even this om starts with a curve om is the representation of pranavam and pillayar himself is the embodiment of pranavam isn't it as mentioned suri means a curve which is also known as vakram in tamil if you look at the trunk of pillayar you find that it is curled inwards it appears as a broken trunk that is why he is also called vakratunda therefore when we draw pillayar suri the curve becomes a full circle complete or whole purnam this entire cosmos brahmanda brahma plus anda that comprises earth and the expansive space with its constellation of stars is round in shape anda itself means an egg and the egg is elliptical shaped the same full circle that represents wholeness is used to denote a zero too how ironical it is we say someone has got a hen's egg in the exam to mean that he has scored zero the symbol suri thus reveals the supreme philosophy that pillayar is the whole as also the zero this signifies that everything is nothing but manifestation of paramatma alone in day to day life when somebody is unsuccessful in some assigned task we say hey you are a zero we draw pillayar suri to him who demonstrates his absoluteness by holding a modakam korukatte filled with purnam sweet coconut pudding this curve straightens all other curves into a complete circle pillayar suri starts with a curve and ends with a straight line that never bends as pillayar represents both whole and zero he is the one who is bent a little curve and at the same time straight arjavam too in tamil vakram denotes crooked nature of an individual and the opposite of this is arjavam to mean straight forward thus being virtuous or non virtuous or all manifestations of the same nirguna paramatma who is devoid of any attributes pranavam or the symbol om is a configuration of three tamil letters namely 
a u m a u m in this a a represents creation the brahma u u is for sustenance or protection the vishnu and m m represents destruction the shiva all these three gods namely brahma vishnu and shiva have emanated only from one para shakti that is why she is also known as pranava swarupini however om is not said to signify devi pranavam it is only uma u m a who is devi pranavam if you transpose the letters a u m you get u m a uma who is para shakti herself in om a u m a is the first alphabet that denotes creation whereas in uma u m a the alphabet u denotes sustenance and is the first letter this is the reason why ambar who sustains and protects lives on this earth with absolute compassion has uma as her pranavam in a u m the alphabet u is sitting in the center as the heart which is the pranavam of ambar the first letter of devi pranavam when looking at pillayar suri that is the tamil alphabet u u we realize that pillayar the pranava swarupa proves the tamil saying as the mother so is the son by engaging only in the act of sustenance of his devotees with exuberant compassion rather he ranks one step above his mother that is ambar ambar's pranavam is prefixed by a and suffixed by m which denote creation and destruction respectively whereas pillayar's pranavam remains only with u that signifies only protection of living beings on earth he remains purely a protector by not holding any other role as absolute embodiment of compassion we have seen that in pranavam a u m u is vishnu roopam uma to is vishnu roopini as she is the sister of narayana and addressed as vishnu maya vilasini and narayani recall the shloka on pillayar which is chanted at the beginning of every ritual or puja even here we get the name of vishnu shuklam baradaram vishnu here vishnu denotes omnipotence therefore the alphabet u connects the son of the universal parents shiva and shakti to vishnu in other words it brings in equanimity between shaivism and vaishnavism pillayar suri consists of a circle a semicircle curve and two lines there is a great philosophy behind this symbol when an object rotates clockwise it requires an axis at the center for support that has to be straight without any curvatures If you look at statues of Vishnu you can see him controlling the rotating chakra with his straight finger being the axis even crackers with a wheel rotating on the ground with sparkling light need an axis to support their rotation sparklers rotate along the axis of a stick held by a person We also know that the whole world is rotating in a circular manner along a supporting axis which is a straight line though not visible to our eyes there must be some form of energy balancing this axis when we draw a circle and semicircle in pillayar suri it represents the entire cosmos that rotates circularly The two straight lines drawn are the axis of this representative cosmos. I remember reading somewhere that energy itself originates in the form of pillayar suri. 
when water is released from a reservoir it gushes through a turbine and makes it spin along a straight axis to generate electricity in pillayar suri the semi circle represents rotation and straight lines represent the emanating energy the circle that culminates into its originating point is relatable to brahmam the one absolute substance we can say that pillayar suri which starts with a circle continues as a semi circle and then culminates into a straight line thereby symbolically denoting the one and only brahmam in other words pillayar suri exemplifies creation of innumerable substances as manifestation of that brahmam brahmam is absolute purnam universe is also absolute purnam the shanti mantra pertaining to shukla yajur veda upanishads proclaims that absolute universe emanated from absolute brahmam pillayar suri that signifies the supreme preeminent god pillayar denotes the absolute brahmam with its curved semicircle komb and absolute universe with the straight line kod this symbolizes that first it is the brahmam and then the universe in simple terms it means universe emerged from the brahmam i have used two tamil terms here komb and kod these terms can be related to pillayar tusk he is known as ekadanta meaning single tusk danta means komb or tusk kod also means the same avvayar says perum bara kodum koda yudattal koduvinai kalainde and so on referring to pillayar's tusk koduvinai refers to past karmas prarabdha karma brahma the creator has already decided on the cause of our current life based on the intensity of our past sins and correspondingly designed our fate this is known as brahma lipi this is known in tamil as talaichuri fate pillayar suri is so powerful that it can eradicate even the brahma lipi or our fate periyava sharanam